as a responsive and responsible government, administration is committed to mitigating the impact of the softening removal and the high cost of diesel fuel, ultimately, by so doing, reducing transportation costs for our citizens. Ogun State has led the country in energy transition, being the first state in Nigeria to launch and deploy compressed natural gas CNG fuel buses in our mass transit routes. We successfully, over a year ago, converted our Asha Leyland mass transit buses to run on CNG. We are taking this further now by executing the second phase of our energy transition program. And yet again, we are the first state in Nigeria to do so. You are welcome here today as we launch our electric bikes, electric tricycles, and CNG tricycles. Through this launching of these electric bikes, tricycles, vehicles, and motorcycles, and the battery swap stations at specific points, we are not just introducing a new mode of transportation. We are pioneering a movement towards a cleaner, more efficient, and technologically advanced way of life. We will be releasing about 2,000 e-bikes in the first phase. These commercial motorbikes can ride up to 75 to 80 kilometers on one full charge and vehicles up to 200 kilometers, thus reducing transportation costs by 40%. Very importantly, I'm happy to announce that today marks also the groundbreaking of a new facility in a special agro processing zone, Ikberu This new facility called the Giga Facility, with a total investment sum of about $40 million, will be an assembly plant for our electric bikes, our two wheelers, our three wheelers, commercial buses, electric cars, and our swap station. It will create over 10,000 direct jobs and about 15,000 indirect jobs. With assembly line operators, frame welders, painters, component assemblers, and quality assurance personnel amongst others. Let me once again lord the exertion of our partners, the Messrs. Spiro, Mobility and Jan Intel, for this giant strike. We sincerely appreciate your enormous contributions and support to the cause of industrialization of our dear state. This initiative will go a long way in ensuring the fulfillment of our decisions to have the mantra of building our future together through a public private partnership. It is essential to note that this program is launched at no better time than now a recognition of the need to devise alternative mobility technology that will ease transportation difficulties, reduce emission of hazardous and toxic combustion products. I therefore appeal to all stakeholders and the general public to support in achieving the objective of this program, which include but not limited to creating jobs in manufacturing assembly, making in public transportation more efficient, sustainable, and environmentally friendly. Let me appeal to other state governments to join Ogun State in actualizing the commitment of the federal government in spearheading this initiative as a component of its renewed hope agenda of making life better for Nigerians through a new mobility technology applicable to motorcycles, taxis, and buses. We in Ogo State will continue to lead by example. Ogo State is not just a part of the future. We are actively being a part of those achievements. 